Mistake on the fourth of July. Judy got lost and Billy got high. Big mistake on the fourth of July. Some people die, but we all get by. That's right, folks. Welcome to the Freestyle Art Show Extravaganza. We've got a full show for you tonight. As you can see, we're going to be doing a little ninja training. Talking about high fives. A little rendition of Beneath Still Waters. Hey, and there's still plenty of ideas to adjust. Along with drawings of Tally Ho, Alaska, and the King. And for our final jam tonight, we're going to do a little campfire ditty called Flaming Star. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the show tonight. Live from Kakana, Wisconsin, it's the Freestyle Art Show Extravaganza. That's right. Thanks for everybody tuning in. I hope your night's as special as mine because I'm coming to you live from Kakana, Wisconsin. That's right. And uh, welcome to... My cottage in the middle of uh, Kakana, and it's a, a town I still call my home. Uh, many great friends and family. But tonight we're gonna start off the show with a little song about ninja training in Central Park. See, when I first moved to New York many moons ago, many of my pals, Aaron, John, Adam, Ian, oh, the list goes on and on. We used to gather at the southernmost part of the Central Park uh, two, three times a week. We'd come from our art studio in Long Island City, uh, take a few stops over, get off, go up to Central Park, and work out. Punching bags, flips, and yoga, all sorts of crazy different uh, made up maneuvers, and then we'd run a few miles, and that was our what we called our ninja training at the time. and. Uh, you know what, I'm thankful for that because that really was a very good part of my life to really instill that sort of like discipline, if you dig what I'm saying. Alright, so the first song is a song I call Ninja Training. <laughs> I lived out of a studio. It was dusty. There wasn't even a shower on the floor. It was bare and it was dusty and everybody saw when you were walking and they knew you were living there. But we all went away during the day to our jobs and respected things. But we gathered together in the mornings there To do a very special thing Ninja training Ninja training We would run for miles and miles and miles We would punch till our faces were blue And we'd do handstands and walk on our hands And do all kinds of moves It was a ninja training Just south of Strawberry Fields, Central Park, like we were ninjas walking across the bridge to the southernmost of Central Park. Watch 
Watch out for the sports and buggies. Watch out for the learners. Watch out for the people who are just struggling and have no idea where they're going. Don't give no direction. Because they probably don't know where they're going either. Just tell them to run along. Because we are ninjas. Just training. Ever training. training save my life all right welcome back to the show let's take a look you guys remember what our set list was what's song number two shall we look welcome to my home abode it's a little warm here but let's see next song on the list high fives all right you know there are certain scenarios for high fives in fact i think there's a high five takeover to be honest with you and I'll explain why. How do you know when to go in for a hug? How do you know when to go in for a kiss on the cheek? That's a better way. What about a high five? Instead of a kiss on the cheek, it's a better way to high five. So let's break it down like Alright, you don't have to touch and feel awkward, I suppose. I don't want advantage. You just give a high five and a slap on the back of the wrist, oh yeah, but a high five, it could mean so much, it's deeper than we thought, more intimate than a hug they say, yeah, it depends on who can high five, yeah, might get in the way, don't get it afraid, you go in for the high five. Extravaganza live from Kakano, Wisconsin tonight. Hope you're enjoying the show. Hope you're tuning in, tuning in to all the other episodes. Hey, find us on Twitter, Save the Art World, and uh, check out freestylefamily.org. That's our website. So, uh, who wants to take a little tour? This is my house. We're about to convert quite a bit of it, got a lot of it out. This is a, just a little tour, but we're going to make our way back to our set list here. And uh, you know what? There's plenty of ideas to digest. So let's, uh, let's find out what that really means tonight, shall we? We've got plenty of ideas to digest. <laughs> nails on the floor! Nails on the floor! Nails on the floor! Oh, 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 oh! 
nails on the floor ain't no more. Nails on the floor and there ain't no more. Nails on the floor and there ain't no more. There's bleach on the walls to kill the smell of the odorous animal smell from years of infestation of animals and bugs. Nails on the floor and there ain't no more! <laughs> Ideas to digest. All right, folks. It is that time of the night. That's right. You've been waiting for it, and now we're gonna give it to you. This one's Tally Ho, Alaska. Welcome back to the Freestyle Art Show Extravaganza. That is an original song by John Cloud Kaiser, written many, many, many years ago called Tally Ho Alaska. Hope this little paper plate drawing will do its justice. Welcome back to the show. It is absolutely an awesome show tonight. And back to our set list uh, in no particular order. 
The next song we have is called Beneath Still Waters. Now, it happens to just be a personal favorite of my song. It's not a song, it's just a song that I learned Emmy Lou Harris sung it. And you should probably learn it from somebody else. And now you're about to hear a version that I'm going to do. And that's all right. That is all right with me. Because Emmy Lou Harris can really fill up a room, can't she? sad song sometimes it's just a sad song just the way it works out boy I was hoping to have a campfire tonight winds really picking up it's raining outside there ain't gonna be no campfire for us too bad too bad but you know what it doesn't matter we'll keep going thanks for tuning in freestyle art show extravaganza live from Kakano Wisconsin we've got so many different things going on yet tonight uh, let's check back on the set list all right, let's see what's going on down there. The king. All right, you know what? This is another drawing. We're gonna do another little drawing for you tonight. Hope you're tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the show. Thanks, thanks once again. Your viewership is truly, truly needed and appreciated. And uh, once again, we're gonna tune into a song from long ago. Uh, this is an old song, maybe uh, 1990, as far back as maybe 1999. 
Oh, wrong song. That's all right. We're going to go. We did that one already. We don't need to hear that one again. Freestyle art show extravaganza. Boy, it's just pouring outside. You know what that means? That means the world is alive. We need that water so bad so we can survive. We need the fresh stuff. Ain't no thing. That's right. That rain. I welcome that rain. Even if it ruined our fire tonight. Because, hey, it is Monday night. <laughs> it is Monday night in the backwoods. I hope you're tuning in. I like to see that people are tuning in. And uh, I'm going to get right into one more song. we got two more things left for you tonight. That's it. And I uh, hope, hope uh, you get a chance to get outside of the city walls. Sometimes it feels so trapped. And sometimes you feel like, what the heck's going on? What am I doing? Am I really doing the right thing? I don't know. Ask yourself. Are you? Am I? I don't know. We'll see. We're always doing the right thing when uh we're enjoying what we're doing so try to do the best you can to enjoy the things that you can enjoy and don't take anything for granted because things are changing a heartbeat faster than we can think hope you can hear some of that right in the background we should get a little thunderbolt going right now because maybe a thunderbolt might be thing I'm looking for. You see, every man has a flaming star, a flaming star up over my shoulder. And when a man, he sees his flaming star, his flaming star up over my shoulder. And when a man, he sees his flaming star, he knows. 
knows his time, his time has come. Say, flame and stop, keep behind me, flame and stop. Flame and stop, keep behind me, flame and stop. There's a lot of living that I gotta do. Big time to meet the make change too. When I ride, I feel that flaming star, that flaming star above my shoulder. And when I ride in front of that flaming star, I know my time, my time has come. Flaming star, keep behind me, flaming star. Behind me, flaming star. There's a lot of living that I gotta do. Give me time to make a few dreams come true. Flaming star. And one fine day, I'll see that flaming star. That flaming star up over my shoulder. When I see that old flaming star, I know my time, my time has come. Flaming star, don't shine on me, flaming star. Flaming star, keep behind me, flaming star. There's a lot of living that I gotta do. Give me time to make a few dreams. Flaming star. All right, welcome back. It's Freestyle Art Show Extravaganza. One of my all-time favorites. That's a little Elvis Presley for you. It's called Flaming Star. It's a movie to go along with. It's kind of a strange little movie, but the song, the song is a song I can relate to. I hope. Everybody feels that little flaming star right behind them because you know what? That flaming star is freaking right behind us and we gotta make use of our time. That's why those who of you joining in tonight to see this live, the ones you see this after, I appreciate you tuning in because why? This is our alternative. Our alternative is to make our own reality and make our own art, our own music, and uh, just something that can so enrich our lives that, uh, hey, uh, what else can I say about it? So, let's do another song. I'm going to do a little song right off the cuff right now about this rainstorm coming back. I can hear the drops in the distance and I can feel the mist from the rain under the overhang of my house. I wish more people were hanging out on the screen porches on a Monday night, singing songs with the tambourine and the song. Not the rain, not everything I'm just gonna go insane 
no love it something wrong all right we got tons of viewers tonight man let's just keep it going should we do it you know what let's do it i'm gonna just keep it going on for one more round why not this time I'm gonna tell a story I'm not sure I'm going to do this yet. Let's do it this way. Blue. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to try to tell you a little story. A long time ago, countries didn't even exist. They were just land masses moving, plate tectonics, doing their thing. The world ever changing, the North Pole, always the North, and the South Pole, cold too. So cold as a matter of fact, that we just left it still for so many years. But what's really underneath? This cold shield of ice. Let's see. Now under the first layer of ice, there are is land that comes up and peeks out of the water and ice and back on down connecting to the ocean floors and evermore now this other layer of ice covering most of the land mass out of the water line and the whole thing ice expands and such as we know but when this ice starts to melt and crumbles down to the ocean floor, circulates, dries up, the land reveals something we could never have imagined. That's right. The great ice crab. And out of the water. This deep hidden creature Grabs a hold of the first ship that had landed in Antarctica for years. Oh no! Get me out of here! Oh no! The great crab! I didn't know we melted the earth! No, the great crab is coming out of the ice! Oh my gosh! We shouldn't have melted it! Why did we mess up? And that ship destroyed. The great crab killed it. Boom! Death. Dead. We should have listened. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is just the beginning of my destruction. You've unfrozen me? <laughs> what fools. <laughs> With all its crab legs started towards... South America. And in the plains. Fight it, fight it, oh no! There's only one thing we can do. DC, call LA. LA, is this Steven Spielberg? Steven Spielberg, how can we create a hot like environment to freeze the great Antarctic crab we never should have awakened from its deep sleep? Jeepers. I mean, those special effects, I mean, I'm not sure if we're going to recreate them. Have you tried to call Lucas yet? Well, Lucas, he's busy. He never does anything anymore. Ah, oh, man. All right, I'll help you, says Steven Spielberg. He takes a jet. Lands in Brazil. And there he's got his crew of 20,000 men and women 
and they set off a cold fusion reaction that tries to freeze the crap. What's happening here? We're never shooting a fish! Steal it, spell it Steven Spielberg induced frozen ice age. Tune in next week. That's right. To the see if Steven Spielberg really did ruin the show. All right. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Awesome show tonight hope you liked it as much as me because i'm having a good time but guess what it is time for our final jamboree should we do a final jamboree why don't you grab a little something at home right now i'm just gonna give you two seconds find a couple pencils a can a bottle what are you gonna grab go quick 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 we only have like 11 seconds for you to grab that stuff i'll give you 11 seconds maybe at home you guys can help me uh Right to closing song. That's right. You got your bucket? Got your bottle? Once again, thanks for tuning in. Freestyle out show weeks from again. Day for you and me. Freestyle family dot org, freestyle family dot org.